Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody posted this on Facebook and asked for some help drawing it without the names. So I'm not even going to put in the date. I'm going to give it my best shot. I'm going to, I'm actually going to kind of go off this picture with my ellipse tool and kind of draw that ellipse. That's pretty close. I'm going to nudge it out of the way. See what my nudge distance is. Uh, let's go two inches. Well, you know what? I'm going to leave it there for just a second. And then I'm going to get my two point line and I'm going to draw a line right there. And I'm going to draw a line right there. Then I'm going to take the virtual segment delete key. And then that way I've kind of got that shape. Now I'll set, I'll move this picture out of the way. Nudge it out a little bit more. Take away that line. Take away that line that was just used for cutting. Grab the artistic media tool and grab one that has a bell on one end and not on the other. And then click on it. And then make it a little bit thicker. And then I'm going to go left click, right click, and I'm going to select and I'm going to go break artistic media apart, and you see that line, our original line, so we don't need that anymore. This point is almost too pointed, so I'm going to take and take the Smart Fill tool and fill it in. Now I have a more blunt part. Delete. Left click, right click. And then I'm going to Control D and make a duplicate. And I'm going to bring it down. I want that inside. Actually, I'm gonna to have to stretch it out a little bit and then stretch it this way. And don't worry about it, it's not even on this side yet. Control D and make a duplicate, bring it down a little bit. You want that inside of that other one, Control D. We could actually bring it down a little bit. Control D and make a duplicate. And whenever I moved it, I messed it up. And we also need to ex extend both these a little bit. Control D and make a duplicate, bring it down, extend it. And it all depends on how much room you want between the words. Control D and make a duplicate. Extend that out a little bit and let's bring it down a little bit more. And there's probably one more, so I'm gonna do that. Extend it out a little bit more. And then I'm gonna select them all and I'm gonna weld them. So now I have a continuous I've got a little bit of leftover right there, but that's easily fixed. Just take your shape tool, grab those two nodes and delete them. And then probably easier because it is a curve. Just do it like that. Maybe extend that out a little bit. Bring in your smoothing tool, click on that and smooth that out a little bit. Now, like I said, it doesn't look like a tree on the other side. And I probably needed to stretch this one out, but you could still stretch some things out with your shape tool and just grab all three of those nodes and just bring them out a little bit. We could actually come down, bring that a little bit and come down. And now to get it to look more even like a tree, I'm gonna try the uh, envelope tool. I'm gonna delete that one node and I'm gonna bring this out Bring that in, bring this up. So that looks pretty much like the tree. We need to put a bottom on it and we need to put some stars in it. Uh, you could do anything for a bottom. Let's, uh, let's draw a rectangle. Turn it into a curve. Take the shape tool and just bring that in. And you could do this mathematically. And you know what I'm also gonna do before I do that? before I convert it to a curve, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna round off these two bottom ones. So it'd be this one, just ever so slightly. Whoop, I got my ratio locked. That wouldn't really matter. Unlock that and just round off the bottom like 0 0.04. And then convert it to a curve. And let's set our nudge factor on like um, 0 0.01, 
Let's zoom in here on our stand. Grab that node and nudge it in. Make sure it's turned blue to three clicks. Four clicks. Go back and put one more there. And you might not want that on the bottom. And instead of welding it, I'm just going to use the virtual segment delete key. It's a lot safer. And since we've already, and then just take the smart fill tool and fill that in. Let's move that over. Whoop. Let's left click, right click. Let's, uh, we actually probably need to bring this part Having a little trouble with my tools today. Just kind of bring this up a little bit. Um, maybe bring it down. And then put a star. Get your basic sh sh under under the polygon tool, your star. Have a five-sided star. Hold it down, hold down your control button so it's an equal star. Then you can expand it out. Bring that into your picture. And like I said, you could probably weld this. And I know you could, but you're right here. And then we need to fill that in again with the Smart Fill tool. Move, this, move the new Smart Fill out of the way. Left click, right click in red. That might be a little bit weak. Let's see what else there are. There's some stars on the base to make it stronger and two stars there. So get your new one, get your star, make sure it's set on five points this time. Bring a star into there, control D, make a duplicate, put a star there. Let's control D and make a duplicate and let's make this next star a little bit smaller. You're basically, these are gonna be for strength and the name, it all depends on what you're gonna do with this. Now let's try to weld it and see what happens with the stars. Select it all and weld, and it worked. You don't have to smart fill it, but I'm gonna smart fill it to show you what it's gonna look like. Pretty cool design. And then you would just left click and right click and add your names if you wanted it in there. And you could do them, actually, I might make a second video on how to maybe put it in there. And then you could make it as large as you want. This is, you know, we'd make it, have your ratio locked and let's make it 12 inches tall. So hold on for a second video and I'll show you maybe how to properly put the names in there. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.